Hi friends, Odo Accounting have an asset management system which is a systematic process to organize, monitor and sell the assets of an organization in a cost effective way. So we can monitor the assets and their current working conditions and it will help the business to understand the loss, gain or any kind of equipment failures etc. So here under accounting you can find a menu assets where you can create and manage assets of a company and we can also create uh, asset entries in a faster way using asset models like uh, here you can uh, find asset models like for a company we can have different types of assets including land car uh, computers and it can have different duration of depreciation like uh, we can create an asset model for a car for five years of depreciation. So you can click on the create button. So you can create car depreciation five years. And here you can choose the depreciation method. So we have three methods in order 15. First one is straight line. So in this case, it will calculate the depreciation linearly. That is, it will equally split the amount for each year. So you can see for the first year when it is 4,000, next year it will be 4,000. Like this way for each year equally the amount is distributed. And then we have declining. So in the case of declining, the actual amount will multiply with a declining factor, which is a decreasable amount. So you can see, if the declining factor is 0 0.40, first year it will be 8,000. Next year it will be declined 4,800. Like this way, depending upon the factor, uh, you can see the change in amount for each year. Then next we have declining and straight line. So it is a combination of straight line and declining depreciation. From the start, the depreciation is calculated by multiplying with the declining factor as same as declining and when it reaches a linear value it will follow the straight line method then we can set the duration of depreciation so i have set it as five years you can also set duration uh, for month then next we can find a checkbox uh, that is prorata temporis so it is used to determine from which date the depreciation needs to be calculated. Like if you check this box, then the first date of depreciation starts from the asset creation date, that is purchase date. Then here we can add the accounts required for the asset, like for asset management. First one, fixed asset account. That is an account which was used to document the purchasing of the asset at its original cost. So I've already created a fixed asset account uh, card and when you click on external link, you can find the uh, details of the account, like the type of account is fixed asset. And you can add other details like people taxes, uh, account currency, allow reconciliation, allow journals. And we have a separate tab automation where you can manage the asset automation. So if you want to uh, automate the creation of asset, you can create it in draft or you can create and validate it. So if you choose create and validate, then you have to provide the asset model. So when you're automating the asset, you can find a checkbox to manage items. So multiple asset items can be generated depending on the bill line quantity instead of, the, uh, instead of this one global asset. So right now I'm setting that no. Then here you can add the depreciation account. So I have created a car depreciation. So this is used to uh, record the depreciation entries. Here we can see the type is fixed asset. 
then here we can add an expense account that is used to report the expense of the asset. So I've created an account, depreciation of car, and you can see the type of this account is depreciation. Then you can set a journal for your asset model. Then you can add a analytic account and analytic tag. Now we can save the asset model. Now let us open chart of accounts. Here we have our account. It's an account card. So let me open it. And under automation, let me edit this. And let me set it as create and validate. And here I can choose an asset model, card depreciation five years. Now we can save the model. Now from here, let me create a vendor bill. Like if you have purchased uh, this car, uh, you can uh, find option to generate a bill. So let's see how the purchase products can be converted to an asset using uh, asset account and model. So here we can choose a vendor. Now here, you can add the product, like you are going to purchase uh, this product car. Now here, you can change the expense account to uh, the fixed account uh, car that we have created. And now we can confirm the bill. Okay, we have to provide the bill date. So now when you confirm the bill, you can see here one asset is created. So when you open this, you can find the asset entry automatically generated. So you can also find this entry uh, by coming under accounting. Here you can see that created. So here we can view the original value of the purchase product, the acquisition date and currency then the not depreciable value, that is the amount you plan to have that you cannot depreciate. So here you can find option to set this to draft stage and you can make, uh, you can edit it. Then you can view the depreciable value, the book value, and here you can find the details related to depreciation method. Uh, so we have set it as straight line. So the depreciation will be done linear, then the duration and the depreciation starting date. So you can see it is December 31. And you can change the starting depreciation date by enabling this prorated temporaries. If we want to start depreciating from the purchase date. And the accounts related to the asset, like the depreciation account, expense account, journal. And here we can see a separate section where you can find the existing depreciation schedule. So this section is used to include the uh, depreciation details. If you already have some uh, depreciation uh, details in another software, and if you're importing it in Odo, you might need to use this to have the right depreciation report. So here you can add, if you have already depreciated some amount uh, for this asset, you can add that value here. And the existing depreciations can be added in the first depreciation. So here below, you can also find a depreciation board that shows the depreciation entries for each year. And for each depreciation, there is a depreciation date. So the depreciation entries are validated and posted on the corresponding dates. And you can see right now, the status is in draft. So once the entry is posted, the status will be changed to post. So for each year, you can see depreciation amount, cumulative depreciation, and the depreciable value, 
and above you can view the posted entries. So you can see there are no posted entries. All of them are in draft stage. And when you open a draft entry, uh, you can see a message shown. This move is configured to be posted automatically at the accounting date. Thus, the journal entries are recorded in similar accounts on that particular accounting date. And under other info tab, you have an option to uh, post it automatically. And if you want to manually post this entry, you can uncheck this and you can find a post button. And the posted entries will be reflected in the profit and loss report. So here we will be able to view the uh, total depreciation. So right now it is zero. So when the entries are posted, it will be reflected in this report. Then here one can see an option to save the asset model or we can post a depreciation or modify depreciation and also the asset can be sold or disposed at the end. So if the action is sell, then here we can mention the customer invoice and the loss account. Then if you're choosing dispose, then you only have to mention the loss account because you are disposing the asset without selling it to any customer. So that's how we manage assets in order for team accounting. Thank you.